Hey mate, let's uh, let's look here, Uma. Uh, thank you so much, Ozzy. Yeah, all good, mate. No problem. Glad to have a look at it. Um, yeah, it, the, it's it's got this nine week inside bar. It's a tricky one. Uh, it's up four percent today. Um, the the well, not the perfect setup, but my favourite setup on these is if if you can actually come down and take liquidity below the inside bar, and then get the bounce. Uh, my worry is if it's bouncing from here, maybe it's going to roll over later. Um, but you know, as long as we're green here, you have to have a bullish bias in the fact that it wants to pop up and take liquidity. You know, up in that nine week um, inside nine, the nine week inside bar Doji candle. So, like here, here's one here as well. Even though this was a bullish stop on. You can see that this did drop down, took liquidity in the wick below uh, and, and, and close to the lows, not quite the lows, but it dropped down first and then went back up. Um, this one is kind of almost going straight up so far, uh, which I don't really like as much. But, you know, you have to roll with the punches and you kind of have to be, uh, you know, if it's, if it's green on a nine week, you kind of have to do that bullish bias until until that flips red. So you can see what's happening here. Um, well, there's an element here. There's a bearish daily stop on here, right? Actually, so mm, you know you need to be very careful below that. Even though it is bullish on the larger time frames, that that is a tricky situation. What if that is a rejection? And what if we flip red now and um, and, and reject and come down and take liquidity down below first? So that is a that's a slight warning sign, even though there, we are uh, technically bullish, right? We are technically bullish. There is a nice bullish monthly stop hunt as well. So it reminds me of Dogecoin. Um, you know, it's Doge is a little bit of a something similar to this. Um, just very quickly, you can kind of see, you know, it had this large wick and then below it, you get that monthly bullish stop hunt. So, Technically, it's bullish until this flips red again, and Uma here is uh, very much the same. So, uh, like honestly, I don't like the price action. Uh, you know, we're we're still in a like. If I go to a daily chart here, we'll we'll, we'll just see how bad it is. Um, like l like, look at this. It's it's absolutely terrible. What's that? That's that's May as well. You know, there, there's. There's no trading action in this at all, really. The only time, you know, you could have got involved here for the spike up there, um, and you could have bought on this deviation here, maybe. Uh, but, you know, even then you're left holding a bag uh, for a long period of time. Uh, so, technically, we are bullish, right? Technically, we are bullish, and these bottoms are never easy. But technically, we're bullish above this coin here. Sorry, above this candle here. Um, and, and also, he can make the argument that we are kind of slightly bearish below this here. So, uh, what essentially, you know, in here we are in a range, and if we break out of here, we can go higher, and if we break below there, we can go lower. So it's, um, yeah, it's 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 very choppy. It's it's a mess. Uh, there is, you know, a lot of these coins, not a lot of them, but a, a certain percentage of these coins get that spike up into the red 200. But they're, they're not clean spikes. They're usually bearish. Well, it's bear market spikes. They're not, they're not clean apexes. Yes, we are getting into an apex here, uh, and there is a bullish, slight bullish bias on them, as long as you're above the white 100 moving average here. But, like, you, you end up getting a one-day spike into the red 200, and then it, it, it sells off again or whatever. They're kind of bear market spikes. They're not bull trend um, apexes and there's a big difference because of volume and manipulation and capital rotation you know nobody likes bear market shop it's it's uh it's horrible and i you know i try and stay away from it as best as i as i can because at some point the market will improve um the other thing that uh you know i've been seeing in the entire market is there's 17 days left in the three month candle now this is a decent setup right because well, I'm not saying it's it's definitely perfect or it's not definitely going to play out, but when when you form a small doji candle like this, sometimes the next month can actually be very bullish. 
sometimes you can actually get that continuation so these small doji candles here are uh indication that there's a big move coming is that big move going to be to the upside or to the downside we don't know that we will need to be reactive we will need to see uh on a new quarter uh, because the new quarter is likely when we're going to get big moves. If the stock market crashes or rolls over badly, well, maybe we make another leg lower or something, you know? It's very possible and we can't rule it out. But if we are green, um, there is definitely uh, a, a real good uh, cause to be getting long after doji candles and after a large drop like this. Also, the capitulation volume. So for now, uh, like... I, you know, the safe bet is to say that there, these are going to form as doji candles, and we are going to we are going to close the quarter out like something like this. It's just going to chop about until the end of the quarter, and then you trade that to the long side most likely. But um, there's always the chance that this can get the uh, the you know this this move here today. See this 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 four percent move. That's the largest candle in a long period of time, and sometimes when you get that. You know, it's 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 created a. Uh, this is the bullish view here. It's already created a bullish deviation, a bullish stop on below the lows that wiped out the longs. If I could set that right, you know, it's, sorry, it's wiped out the the stops, um, and now the price can move in the right direction. So there's there is a case here to be made that this is building pressure to get one of these spikes that can pop up into the apex. So. Um, they're, they're, it's not easy to know, but this is a, a, a slight sign that it might be trying to do that. As long as it's green on the month, you know, you have to have that slight bullish bias. And it is trying to get into the apex. Um, above the white 100 it is bullish, but if it falls below it again, you don't want to be in the trade. At least you need to be very, very careful. If we actually look at the six month candle, you know, this large candle here is a bearish candle. And quite often, price likes to go below this candle kind of implying that the bottom of the market is not in yet um, you know you can kind of see this bearish uh, uh, sorry the, the capitulation volume here at some point there is a very good chance that price can get below that candle and take out the lows so uh, it is kind of suggesting that there's a decent chance that UMA has not bottomed so that suggests yes we are bullish here above this white 100 and, and we can get that move up that move up would still be you know, uh, you know, I retrace in that six-month wick, but the uh, if 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 this does fall below the white 100 again, you need to be very careful because that's that's when you lose support, that's when you can fail, and that's when you can roll over. So, uh, you know, we we just need to be careful here. If taking longs, just be careful and uh, and manage the risk.